podcast. My name is Samantha and I'm with Real Estate Nexus. And with me today is our RHA broker in charge, I should say, yep. <laughs> Bobby Gold. Um, RHA is our real estate home advisors, Real Estate Nexus home advisors. Let me yep. myself. Um, and today our topic is going to be on the importance of video. So, um, Bobby, why don't you take a few minutes and tell us a little bit about yourself. So I'm the broker of record over here at Run Home Advisors, RHA. Um, before this, I ran a team um, where our team would have about 20 active listings every single month. Um, I had my own brokerage. I used to be a brokerage manager for List Assist. And then um, we ended up merging all of that with Run Home Advisors to, to do big things. And you are doing great things. How many listings? Yeah. You're doing the listings? Listing challenge. challenge. I, I think we're ahead right now from the numbers on the chart. Yeah, it's um, only been a week since our challenge in here. The yeah. highest one was eight. We've got 11. Wow. So we're, They're crushing it. We're, Anyone we're, who's on the Legion challenge, you need to know. Get on there. Get on there. <laughs> They're winning. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us today, Bobby. Um, so getting into our topic today, the importance of video. I know a lot of real estate agents want to know why this is important. What would you say they should be implementing? Why should they be implementing video marketing into their daily campaigns, marketing campaigns? Um, you know, in this day and age, video is key. Um, when you're on social media, when you're anywhere, the way the algorithms work is if you're posting videos, if you're going live, you're gonna be on, on top. And this business is all about the lead gen. So, if you want to survive, right, you got to change and you got to you got to be posting videos. I know a lot of people hate videos. I know when we per, you know, when we first started, our team hated doing videos, but it's just something you got to be persistent on if if you want to go to the next level. Absolutely. I mean, I've noticed when I get like a video email or video text, it's more personable. It's like, "Ooh, they spent time making a video for me. That's awesome." Even though they probably made the same video for 10 other people, <laughs> you know, but it's still that personable interaction versus just a message. Yeah, it's, it's funny you say that. Um, you know, just yesterday, uh, our, you know, coach, Matt Grunman, mm -hmm. uh, we recorded a video with our team. We sent it out. We text blasted it. We had about, like, 60 replies. A lot of it was like, stop, 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 right. stop, F you, F you, F you. <laughs> um Leave me but alone. <laughs> we ended up you know having 10 good conversations out of there and we ended up booking four appointments and wow. three of them looked really solid um you know and that was done in a matter of 45 minutes right so it's it's just very important to make it personable and to stay in front of your your clients your audience yeah. absolutely well what would you say to encourage an agent who is kind of apprehensive or on the fence about doing video marketing you you just have to do it right I mean you know when we first started we would take like 100 takes and it was like my hair doesn't look good this doesn't look good you know all these excuses started coming from our team members and you know they're like don't post that one don't post this one and then we'd record 10 videos and they wouldn't want you to post any of them right so what we started doing was we we're just like screw like one take that's that's the only shot you're getting and you know, even if you mess up, right? It's personable. We're we're still gonna post it. And once they started seeing the results, and once they started seeing that it doesn't have to be perfect, um, they the mindset just started changing to get videos out there because we watch TV, we watch all these reality shows, and everything's you know scripted Stage. and <laughs> staged, and right. everything's like perfect and this and that. And when you get in front of the camera, we just don't feel comfortable. Right. But it's about just getting the content We're out human. There. We all make mistakes. Yep. I know even with this podcast at first, I was like, I sound mousy. I don't like it. Like I have a phone voice. <laughs> <laughs> but after like hearing myself, it kind of makes you, you realize like what you need to change, what you need to work on. Um, but yeah, practice. Practice makes perfect, right? Exactly. Before you know you're going to be doing these podcasts and videos in your sleep. <laughs> well, that's great. Um, what are one or two mistakes that you have seen agents do when making videos? Um, just go off the, yeah, we kind of hit on that, like yeah, the, just the, picking everything. The, the last one is they get too picky and they don't post or the other biggest mistake I see is they'll post one or two videos and they're like, oh great, I've done videos. I'm done. 
and they don't keep up with it. They don't keep up with it. And it's all about the persistence, right? I mean, consistency. Yep. And, you know, when we originally started doing the videos, we'd have zero views, but we'd keep posting them, and then it was one, two, and then it just kept growing and growing after that. So when you originally start, you're going to have zero views. Nobody's going to be clicking on them. You're not, you're not going to get what you want. Uh, but the algorithm's got to figure out that you're posting videos, that's what you're doing, that's what your business model is. And then slowly, there, you know, the more videos you post, the higher and higher you're going to be, um, you know, on that thread or the For You page mm -hmm. or, you know, where, wherever you're posting on. And um, the more, you know, views you get, the more clientele yeah, you're going to get. And it's not only about, you know, getting the current clientele. Um, it's about brand awareness and awareness out of you, right? Nobody's posting videos. So if you're posting videos, educational videos, you're teaching the general public, you're teaching your clients of real estate, you're telling good stories, um, you know, them hearing this stuff, they're gonna refer you and it's just brand awareness. Like a great thing we had is um, two of our agents, last week one of them sold a house, $100,000 over asking. Which is huge, right? Yeah, it's huge, especially here. Yeah, and I'm like, did you do a video? No. I mean, why don't you do a video? Like, what you did is, you know, amazing. freaking amazing, right? People want to hear that. Yeah, and she's like, well, you know, I, I don't want to sound egotistical. It's like, dude, nobody's going to know what you've accomplished if you don't tell anybody. This is a business where, you know, our success stories, we have to tell the public or there's no way they're going to know. Or even, you know, one of our other agents, Audrey, um... There was a for sale by owner that, you know, had the property listed and they couldn't sell it. She listed it, sold it in three days for $10,000 over wow. what he had it listed Wanted. for and he couldn't sell it in six months. Or one of our other agents, you know, had an expired listing, expired three freaking times. That's crazy. And we ended up listing and he ended up selling the listing for, uh, again, over what it expired for. And it's, it's, it's all about marketing. It's all about how you approach it, what you do. Um, well, that and just keep in mind that there might be an agent yeah. out there that there's something that you did to accomplish that goal that they are struggling with that you can kind of help them guide them in that like oh that's a great idea maybe you should try that so you never know who you're gonna help in the real estate industry exactly you know, to you know encourage them to start doing this and you don't want your team or your agents being a secret agent you want to share those success stories so you you know you want to pat yourself on the back you want to pat your agents on the back. And you want the public to know what you're doing, you know, what you're really good at, what you're successful at. Be proud and I, yep. of your successes. Yeah, I, I agree 100%. Because there's no other way that they're going to know. They're not going to go on that MLS and ask, you know, get logins and, you know, look at the data and statistics. They're going to right. find out what you post. Absolutely. And it just keeps the momentum going. And positivity, positive drive, energy, excitement, that hoorah, we made a sale and we did yeah. this and this is how we did it. It keeps that momentum. I, I agree 100% from what you said. You know, everybody believes in different stuff, but I believe in if you put energy into the universe, you get energy back. Yep. Um, you know, we've been doing a lot of different stuff um, in the real estate industry, and sometimes we focus our energy here, and we're working very hard here, but we get nothing back from here. But from all these different angles, we start getting business, and I strongly believe that's just, the you know, uh, the universe sending the energy back we are and, energetic and, so yep, yep. different ways <laughs> we do send out energy yep. some positive some negative we try to stay away from the negative yeah try, try to be positive <laughs> so kind of following back on our last question um what best best practices would you suggest to a real estate agent who's just starting out implementing video marketing yep best practices i would say is if you regardless of if yourself or you're in a team or you know you're running the brokerage whatever your structure is is to post videos and post them on a regular schedule right so set up a schedule for yourself and let's say every wednesday at noon you're going live for 30 minutes you're going to talk about what you accomplished that week that does two things that you know puts you higher in the algorithm you that, that holds you accountable for you, your team, or whoever it is, right? Did you accomplish what you said you were going to accomplish last week? And that starts, you know, um, a, routine. a routine where people slowly start to expect those videos from you and they start following you. And then, right, every person, what, what's the statistic? Every person knows at least like six people who are going to buy or sell that, that year, 
right? So even if they're not going to buy or sell, if you become, if you're in front of them, they're going to be like, hey, you know what? I this person's person. doing good. That person's, you know, doing video all the time. They know what they're talking about. Why don't you call my friend? Why don't you call this person, right? And you almost become famous or like starstruck once you start doing them for a while, um, right? If we, you know somebody from high school that you've never talked to in, in 10 years and you see him on the news or this or that, and you know, you start hitting your wife on the shoulder, you're like, oh my God, I went to high school with that person, right? And, you know, and then you, the next you day cool. on the news feed, it's people you may know. <laughs> exactly. So you, you just want to be out there and you want to be consistent. and It's just going to snowball effect. and It's really you know, true because uh, I was talking to Jeff Fitzer from Drunk on Social and even Isaiah Colton, our CEO. They're doing so many videos. My whole Facebook news feed is videos of them. I'm like, my family asked me, did you see the posts on Facebook? And I'm like, I did not see your posts because my whole news feed is Drunk on Social or Business Video School or Isaiah Colton. Um, at Real Estate Nexus, I'm like, it's all videos because they do them daily. Yep. And I told Jeff, I was like, man, your retargeting is really good. He's like, I don't even have retargeting. I just am very consistent with doing my videos. Yep. And I'm like, well, you're everywhere. <laughs> I know. It, it's crazy because it's like all I see is Isaiah and, yep. you know, the new products run is offering. Mm -hmm. And it's like, we're at the top tier. We're subscribed oh. to everything. Like, can I, can I just get my feedback? Yes. <laughs> And then you like like one post and then you have all these comments and then people like everything and the interaction It's just crazy and it's also awesome seeing that everybody like wow this video really touched me or I really needed to hear this today And you never know how your video is going to impact somebody And I think day. you're you're creating a big family, right? I mean, um, I trust. I'm, I'm, e I'm either at work or I'm spending time with my family So it's like right, you know depending on how you run your business I, I'm one of those agents and brokers that you know Besides my home life and my business life, I have no life, right? So it's like when you're in front of these people, you know, um, it, it, it just helps showcase that, right? So if I'm going to dinner with friends or family, I, well, that's a business dinner, right? So we, we talk about business. We do this, we do that. So it's like you, you just got to grow that and you just got to showcase that. And some people love when you talk about your family stuff in your business. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think we got to make this yeah. personable. Right. Like this Wailo Pope. We've yeah. been trying to do this podcast for like a week now. <laughs> We're talking about being consistent. It's on schedule. But um, yeah, absolutely. I, I agree with that. Definitely being consistent, um, holding yourself accountable, and not being so judgmental of yourself. We are our own worst judges. Yeah, we're. I feel like we're very hard on ourselves yeah. for, you know, what it is. And you, you know what I'm saying. There's no thing as bad advertisement. Right. I think, yeah, Jeff Fitzer says that. He's like, no video is, or what is it? A shitty video is better, better than, than no video. video. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, um, we kind of went over the five action steps that, you know, agents, you know, our listeners can take away from today's podcast. Um, so let's just recap them a little bit. So what would you say? Consistency? Consistency, yep. Um, I would say stick with it, right? So just like we talked about, right? Isaiah posts, Isaiah goes live at least two times a day. He posts at least three videos a day, which is great. That may be hard for, you know, somebody just getting into it. So at least try to go live once a week, I'd say, and post one video a week. At least try to do that. And once you get comfortable with that, just, it just throw that natural. up. Yep. And to help you with this, we made it stupid simple for you because we have our 2022 sales and marketing playbook and anyone's able to access this digital copy on our real estate um, nexus.io or real estate nexus.io website if you log into our dashboard of your google or facebook account you can scroll down to um, i think it's um, additional outsources or you know resources and there's our REN playbook. And in there, you can find a whole breakdown of day by day for each month of when to market and promote, um, how many, what to market and promote, like text message, email, video email, social posts. It breaks it down, make it stupid simple for you. So go and check that out. Um, I highly recommend it. That book is amazing. We call it our real estate Bible at our, our job. I agree. I, I read it. It's great. There's scripting and prospecting, role play, lots of lots of insightful information that will help you i'm glad you brought that up um another thing i want to add i know we're running out no. of time is a lot of our you know agents we're like what do i make a video on right what what, what are people interested in the playbook has a 
has you know a week by week video list what you topics so you don't have to reinvent the wheel just out of those five topics just pick one you know and just start doing that and then once you start getting better at it pick two and mm -hmm. then three and then as as you build build out so yeah um it's stupid simple yeah. <laughs> and uh yeah like i said everyone gets access to that for free on a ren dashboard just log in you can look up ren playbook um and yeah go play around and search in there it's free for everybody um and then yeah just uh don't be so harsh on yourself videos are fun why not and there's always editing company or platforms out there that can help you edit things <laughs> like my well, voice <laughs> ren edits all of our videos so well they're, yes they're been, we do we do Marketing, yeah. yeah. We do video marketing so, or editing. Yeah. Reach out to them. They're, they're, yeah. they're we'll drop some links <laughs> for you to check everything out. Well, thank you guys, and we look forward to next week's uh, Ren Podcast. I appreciate you joining us today, and thank you, Bobby, for, well, thank you for having me. taking the time out of your day to hang out with us and chit-chat. <laughs>